Hey everybody, Dave Gear here. Welcome back. It is the Leadership Minute, episode number 51, Negotiating. That's what we're going to talk about this time. Negotiating is one of those leadership skills and traits that are non-negotiable, pun intended. Now, you must have a skill when it comes, you must have the skill when it comes to negotiating or negotiations. See, the word negotiate has two definitions, and they're great definitions. The first one is to try to reach an agreement or compromise by discussion with others. That's not too shabby. The second, and that's my favorite, is find a way over or through an obstacle or a difficult path. You know what? You negotiate through the obstacle course. Remember that? Okay, so now, there are always going to be individuals that will want to do things their own way. I promise you this. It, it, it's just... It's just the way life is. Now, they will be happy picking up a paycheck, but not happy doing the work they're getting paid to do. Okay, see, so, you know, they ask themselves, or you've asked yourself, I know I've asked myself when I was in that situation is, why am I there? Why are they there? You know, as, as a leader, now I ask, well, why are they there? You, as a leader, yes, well, why are they still there? But when you were in that situation, you asked yourself, why were you there? Of course, some of them need the money, but even then, that's not a good reason to be unhappy doing the job. But I digress. Now, let's look at what happens when there's change in the workplace. There will always be pushback. There is, you know, this is when you as a leader can either dictate or negotiate. Obviously, there will be some situations where dictating is the only course of action to take. And, and you don't want to dictate, but again, the mission calls for, well, you know, it's got to get done. And that's it. However, when the situation involves either personal issues or personnel matters, then it calls for you to put on your negotiator hat. Obviously, you cannot be a negotiator and be part of the problem when it comes to personnel matters or personal matters. You just can't be. However, when it's your department versus something that must get done, then you should have no problem going to the heart of the matter. Now, of course, everyone has their unique style and technique when it comes to negotiating, but there is one thing that matters the most, and that's listening. Listen to understand, understand all sides involved. You know, understand what the problem is, what the situation is as they, as individuals see it. And then once all the information is, well, once you have all the information, it's up to you to come up with a suitable solution in which everyone involved understands what the situation is as you see it. Everyone involved understands that the need to resolve the situation. Obviously, that's why everybody's together. Everyone involved agrees to the course of action that's going to be taken. Everyone involved agree agrees to getting back to work and getting things done because that ultimately is the most important thing. Now, something to remember. No matter how long you've been in the management or leadership position, there's absolutely nothing wrong with soliciting advice from another leader or your mentor great time to get one if you don't have one. Actually, that's great advice. See, seek out those that can help. Seek out mentors because I guarantee that in the future you will need more and more advice Advice as an up-and-coming leader and, and as an established leader. You're definitely going to need that advice. So, why not get one? <clears throat> so, again, get advice, get guidance in matters such as this and in any other future matters. Okay, so again, to wrap it up, as a leader, you have no choice when it comes to being a negotiator. You will have to put all your listening, understanding, processing skills to the test, along with your sense of fairness, integrity, and all other skills, techniques, and knowledge that you've acquired up until this point to be a great leader to get great resolutions. Now, again, part of the skills is acquiring a mentor, talking to others, listening. Don't forget that. This has been episode 51 of the Walking Leader no, it's not the walking leader, the leadership minute. There we go. And uh, have a great day. I'll talk to you soon.